Approximately 6,000 years ago in Africa's Sahel region, a solitary female mosquito meandered through the thriving savanna. Unbeknownst to her, the world was on the cusp of transformation, setting the stage for her descendants to lead entirely different lives. A profound ecological shift compelled them to transition from thriving in forests and feeding on a variety of animals to specializing in just one species, humans. Gradually, these diminutive insects evolved into one of the planet's most perilous creatures, with a portion of the blame lying on us. But what factors led this mosquito species to develop such a strong affinity for humans, and what shifts in their surroundings spurred them to become the scourge we know today? Today, the mosquito subspecies known as Edis aegypti aegypti is one of the most loathed creatures globally, and for valid reasons. They exhibit an innate preference for humans, irresistibly drawn to our scent, with up to 95% of their blood meals derived solely from people. This makes them significant vectors for a range of viral diseases, including yellow fever, Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya, though it's essential to note that they do not transmit malaria, which is the domain of a different mosquito species. They inhabit warmer regions across all continents except Antarctica, causing misery for billions of people globally. Yet their evolutionary history paints a different picture. For the majority of their existence, Aedes aegypti posed minimal harm, had a narrower distribution, and displayed little interest in humans. In fact, some populations in Africa's forests still adhere to their generalist lifestyle, feeding on various animals they share their habitat with. These mosquitoes do not favor humans over other animal hosts and lay their eggs in natural stagnant water pools, often in tree hollows, where their larvae develop. Conversely, their specialist counterparts exhibit a strong attraction to our scent, with their larvae adapting to thrive in our stored clean water sources. This specialization has allowed them to follow us as we settled and exploit our communities. So, what brought about this transformation? In 2020, researchers unveiled some initial insights. They conducted extensive mosquito collections across 27 sites in Africa, encompassing both generalist and specialist populations. The data suggested that the human specialist populations, with their strong attraction to humans, primarily thrived in urban areas within the West African Sahel region, marking the emergence of specialization in humans. The Sahel's arid climate, particularly its prolonged and parched dry season, likely played a role. In 2023, further research employed DNA sequencing to trace the mosquito's transition to human specialization. By comparing the DNA of both generalist and specialist mosquitoes, scientists used the gradual accumulation of mutations over time as a molecular clock to estimate when the divergence occurred. To establish this clock, they needed to determine the rate at which mutations naturally accumulate within the species. For calibration, they turned to historical events with known dates. In this case, the mosquitoes' migration from Africa to the Americas around 500 years ago, thanks to the transatlantic slave trade, provided a crucial marker. By analyzing mutation patterns between both continents since that migration period, Researchers derived a more precise estimate of the species' overall mutation rate. Calibrating their clock with this information, they determined that the split between generalist and specialist populations transpired approximately 5,000 years ago. This timing coincided with the conclusion of the African humid period, a time of remarkable environmental upheaval for the region. Between 5,000 and 15,000 years ago, the present-day Sahara Desert, once a lush green savanna stretching across the continent and into Arabia, experienced dramatic changes. Cyclical variations in the planet's tilt, orbit, and wobble increased solar energy input, resulting in significant climatic alterations. The strengthening of the African monsoon, which also shifted northward, led to substantial rainfall over the Sahara, forming extensive lakes and river systems and fostering a flourishing savanna ecosystem. However, around 5,000 years ago, the Earth's orbit shifted once more, reversing these climatic trends. Over just a few centuries, the African humid period concluded, 
giving birth to the arid Sahara Desert we recognize today. The mosquito DNA pinpointing this period as the trigger for human specialization aligns with these climatic changes. The sudden disappearance of the savanna ecosystem with its abundant water sources and diverse animal hosts posed a significant challenge for the ancestral forest-dwelling generalist mosquitoes. In the Sahel region, characterized by extended arid seasons and limited natural water pools for approximately nine months a year. These mosquitoes gravitated towards humans to cope with this abrupt shift. Additionally, another crucial change around the same time and region was the domestication of the pearl millet plant by Sahel residents. This early agricultural practice, supported by large clay pots for water storage, provided an ideal substitute for tree hollows and rock pools, where these mosquitoes used to lay their eggs. These two simultaneous events, an alteration in climate and a new form of human agriculture, prompted the onset of human specialization in mosquitoes. They united the necessary elements for the mosquitoes' new ecological niche while also implicating human activity in this transformation. The evolutionary tale of this mosquito species and its evolving relationship with humans is far from over. In recent decades, Urbanization and population density growth in many African cities have prompted a shift among formerly generalist mosquito populations towards biting humans. Genetic analysis in 2023 suggested that specialists may be introducing their adaptations into the generalist gene pool. Consequently, as urbanization continues and cities become more densely populated, genes favoring human specialization may become more widespread in mosquito populations in the future. Furthermore, ongoing human-induced climate change is expanding the geographic range of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Therefore, while their initial attraction to humans may have roots in natural climate shifts driven by planetary orbital cycles, their relationship with us is now increasingly shaped by human actions and environmental alterations. This narrative underscores a fundamental truth in natural history. Everything is interconnected, and even planetary-scale factors like Earth's orbit can influence the behavior and evolution of seemingly insignificant creatures, such as mosquitoes.